I feel like I look like I get high with my mom. <laughs> um, which is crazy because I don't. Um, no, I'm kidding, I do. I get high with my mom. Um, and speaking of getting high with my mom, um, I'm going to get high with my mom at my wedding. I'm actually getting married next year, you guys. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The wedding is on 420, um, 420 in 2024. And I know you're thinking it's probably because you get high with your mom that you chose that. Um, no, but I chose it because it's a palindrome. It means it's the same forwards and backwards, 420-2024. Um, yeah, cool, huh? Found that out when I was high with my mom, you guys. Um, we were just thinking it was cool and the haze and it was like the 70s all over again. Um, you know, I, uh, I got an effed up statistic that I've been meaning to talk about. Does, do people have interest in hearing this effed up statistic? Yes! Um, I heard this and it just made me so sad, made me so worried and confused. Um, so I heard that 100% of the Seattle Police Department, you heard me, 100% of the Seattle Police Department just doesn't wash their ass, <laughs> ever. It's like a thing, when you join, you have to stop washing your ass. I don't know why. I know we shit a lot about cops, or shit on cops a lot in Seattle. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, but I know we shit on cops a lot in Seattle, but uh, I was actually in a porter potty the other day. Um, I wasn't shitting on a cop in the porter potty. Yeah. I was just doing my business, doing pretty good if I say so myself. And uh, I got done and I kind of opened the door and the door swung open and it, it let out a gentle clack. And um, there was two piggies walking right <laughs> towards me. They were covered in mud. And, squealing and, and playing with each other and they had two little fingies you know like pigs have two little fingies um, and they were police officers you guys that's called comedy I tricked you um, no but uh, the cop looked at me heard the gentle clack of the door and he said hey easy on that door and I said what? You know, I heard what he said, but I still had to ask. Um, and he said, I said, easy on that door. Um, so I know we shit on cops a lot in Seattle, but you know, clearly that guy cared a lot about the city, you know? <laughs> doing his job, you know? I mean, he might not care a lot about the people in the city, you know? The city itself, the property. <laughs> The porter potties, the mailboxes, <laughs> the traffic cones, the concrete partitions. You don't want to see what he would do for a stop sign, you guys. <laughs> Go to war for a stop sign. So I actually um, don't like cops, if you guys can guess. And I think all cops are bad, ACAB, and I think that because it's a broken system, so you can't be a good cop, that's my opinion. Um, but I do think that that phrase, ACAB, could use some retooling just to hit different demographics, specifically rich people, because for whatever reason, the rich just don't want to get rid of the police. Um, it's because of property, you guys. You call that <laughs> last year. Um, but I just think if we changed it just slightly, so it's all cops are bad or bastards, ACAB, we could just change it to all cops are icky. <laughs> now it spells acai. <laughs> and they're going to come in droves to the protests <laughs> to subliminally support those super berries from the, from the, from South America. <laughs> I think they're from South America, you guys. Um, so, uh, Anyone, anyone here fucking got depression? Yeah. That was hard to get through that. Why 
is it hard to say that? <laughs> so I was getting, I, uh, I have depression, so sometimes I feel like I have trouble getting out of bed, you know? Getting up in the morning is difficult. Oh, yeah. Some disparate snaps. Uh, but I feel like it's hard to get out of the bed in the morning because I'm just kind of sitting there. I'll toss, I'll turn, I'll scroll endlessly. Come up to, I'll come up with sequels to my dreams, you guys. <laughs> They're not good sequels. It's hard to make a good sequel. And my dreams, no different. Um, usually when I make up a sequel to the dream, I'm just doing the thing that I almost did in the dream, but I get to do it. And a lot of my dreams are me going to a fucking movie that I'm super excited for, but then I never get to see the movie. Um, so my sequels are like, not sequels, they're like original, they're the original movie. It gets confusing. Um, but basically I kind of avoid getting up like the plague, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I actually don't know what I'm saying. Why do we say that? Why do we say that anymore? Because the plague was super fucking fucked up at one point. But now, it's no big deal. You can actually beat the plague pretty easily with some antibiotics. Um, so, I gotta come up with a new phrase again. Fucking retool it. It's just words. Words are all fake, you guys. While you're listening to me say words. You paid for words. They're gonna be different in a thousand years. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I looked right at you, Richard. You've been the guy I've been looking at it all night. Yeah, you're getting, the, you're getting this heat. Um, so anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? Words. Words. The plague. The plague, thank you. The plague. So basically, maybe we could say, you know, we went through a plague recently. We could say, avoid it like COVID, right? And we're all in this room together right now. <laughs> not going pandemic. How many of you are wearing masks? No. It's <laughs> not good. So maybe we say we avoid it like we avoid thinking about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good to me. Um, no, but I got depression, you know, and I've actually been, been going to therapy. Um, give it up for therapy. <laughs> Yeah. I like therapy, um, but I actually saw someone with a water bottle and a sticker on it that said, I love therapy, <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest, because um, I don't love therapy. Like, if therapy's working, I'm, like, crying a shit ton and, like, working through some, like, hard fucking traumatic shit, you know? <laughs> so it's like, do I love it? Or do I need it? I need it. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Maybe, maybe this person's saying, I love the effects of therapy. I love the person I am because of therapy. And to that, I'd still say, no. I, I don't like the person I am. I feel like I lost my edge a little bit. I feel like there was a killer that's now fucking up here saying words <laughs> and having a good time with it though. Um, real quick, I'm gonna end on a riddle. <laughs> Swallowed wrong. That's not the riddle. Just actually speaking to you like a person, sorry. Sorry you expected a monkey the whole time. To say words for you guys. This still isn't the riddle. I'm going to launch into the riddle right now. It says follows. I'm Ian. My name's Ian. I've got writing utensils in my bloodstream. And I love me a good cheesesteak. What am I? Close. I'm Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 All 